Okay guys, I'll try to make this video as quick as possible. This video is specifically for the Digital Design 1 and Digital Design 2 students. I wanted to go over your assignment in Be Funky this week and then also show you a couple things about Be Funky. Okay, so this is my final design. I did start from a template. I changed the template around. I added all the, uh, the assignment from the criteria. Uh, I did want to show you kind of a finished product, something uh, of what I'm looking for. Okay. So let's go to your assignment sheet really quick. All right, guys, after you watch this tutorial, I want you to use the graphic designer option this week. There are two other options. There's a photo editor option and a collage option. This week, we're going to use the graphic designer option. Again, like I did, you can choose from one of the free templates as long as you change that template around and make it your own design. Okay, I know what the templates look like, so make sure you're really spending some time in here and changing the templates around. Try to stay away from the one with the gold stars. Those want you to upgrade to the premium package and pay money. Um, so stay away from those. Guys, you can create your own from scratch from a blank document. You do not have to use a free online template. Okay. Your requirement is at least one photo, at least one graphic, which is usually like a shape or a, um, a line, um, and then at least one line of text. Guys, at least means you can have more than one. Okay. Don't rush through this assignment. Don't feel like, okay, I added one photo, one graphic, and one line of text. I'm done. Let me hurry up and turn it in. Guys, your designer, spend the time that you need to make your design look really good. So if you need more of one of these things, please add more than one of those. Okay. The theme is one of the five choices on how you can protect yourself against the COVID virus. That's found down at the bottom of your assignment sheet. Okay. So just choose one of these, and then this will drive the theme for your design. I chose hands wash them often. Again, this is the, the, the final product that I ended up with. Okay. So let's jump over to Be Funky really quick. Guys, you can click create up here and I want you to choose the graphic designer option. Um, you can search for templates here. I went to browse all templates and I picked this template right here, the Be Merry template. Okay. So I chose to use that template. Since my theme was about washing hands, I decided to just click on the images that I didn't feel like had to do with hands. Um, and then I deleted those off. Okay, so you can do that. You can move the images around. I would use these smart guides to help you line things up, just like you'd use, you would use your grid and your guides in your Adobe programs at school. Okay. Um, again, you can use this text again, if you change the text around, okay, so make it your own somehow, right? I won't spend time with this text down here. All right. But again, guys, you can change the size of your check text. You can change the font. You can change the font color, the alignment. You can make your text bold. Um, you can give your text a background color if you'd like to. Okay. Um, you can give, uh, give it a stroke. Okay. So explore, try things out. There's even an intensity slider down here, which kind of mimics the opacity slider in your Adobe's. Okay. I want you to add at least one graphic. So again, you can pull these graphics out here. All right. Again, you can change the color of the graphic. If you want to match that up with something else in the design, you guys should recognize this little eyedropper right here from your Adobe programs. So you can hover over something to make sure it's the same exact color. Okay. Um, you can resize these things. You can rotate them. Okay. You can change the number of the points on the item. You can change the inset weight. You can shift the orientation. Again, I want you to try things out and explore. Okay. Got some controls along the bottom. Okay. You can undo. You can redo. You should notice those from Adobe. Look at this here. You have a history panel. You should recognize that panel from Adobe. You have zoom controls down here that'll help you work on uh, specific areas of your artwork. Okay. You can fit to screen. You can go full screen. There's even layer, there's even layer options down here where you can layer and group layers together. Again, guys, this mimics your layer panel um, from your Adobe applications. Okay. Guys, spend some time, get in here ex and explore, create me a good design. Okay. All right. Uh, one thing you can do on the images was I added a color overlay. I just chose a color. I dropped the opacity slider down. It kind of gave it that sepia tone. If you want to duplicate that to other ones, 
you can just copy this code here, this hex code. Okay, copy the code. Go to another image. Add an overlay. Then you can just paste in that same that same color overlay. All right. Drop the intensity slider down. All right. So again, guys, get in here and explore. Try out everything in the program. Try out all the options. Have fun. Don't feel like you got to rush through and finish. Okay. When you're finished, guys, save to be funky or save to your computer. Okay. I would highly suggest naming your artwork up here. Okay. Name it whatever you like, but name it with some kind of keywords. You have options of JPEG, PNG, or PDF. You should know the difference between all of these three. JPEGs do have quite high quality, but they're lossy, but they do have small file sizes. Pings are not lossy. They're lossless. They have better quality and a slightly higher file size. Okay. I would suggest saving as a ping. Okay. When you guys are done, please message me on Edsby and let me see how much time you put into your artwork and let me see how much you've learned as a designer so far this year. Okay. Message me with any questions.